So I made a little spec for Code Ponder, but I didn't go into too much detail, so it's more of kind of like an outline of how I see the project going, at least for the initial version. Now the goal of this project is to create a marketplace for code reviews. And what that means is a place where people can receive code reviews and give code reviews and kind of to help facilitate the finding of like people partnering up and working on that. And then also a long-term goal is to allow people to actually pay for code reviews and people to make money from giving code reviews. Now that's the idea. Here's what I'm trying to do is to create an initial version of that and to make it as simple as possible and strip down all the features into the most basic of it and then iterate on top of that. And so here is what I came up with is a list of things that I'm about to go through. But I also want to say um, I'm not sure the best way to really do some of this stuff. And so this is kind of like my initial idea of doing it. And then I'm open to feedback. And what I put this, what this is right here is I just made an issue on Code Ponder the repo. Um, and so you can come and comment on this and I would love to get contribution and feedback on this particular, what you guys think of this idea. And if there's a place where I can do things better, uh, I'm definitely flexible and want to improve upon it. Now with that said, let's go through what I'm thinking. So to start off, I basically kind of made like, here are some different pages that I think make sense, at least in the initial version. Um, and that's kind of like this top level. So I see there being a home page. I'm thinking just scrapping a, a landing page and just have a home page where you can see all the code reviews that are currently like people uh, want a code review for. And so what I'm thinking is kind of like how Reddit, you just go to Reddit and you see kind of the listings of the posts, something like that. Now maybe we do more of a grid, maybe it's columns. Uh, I'm not sure the format of that. But what I do know is I think what we're going to display for these code reviews is a name, some programming tags, like the languages that make sense for that project, then also a link to GitHub where the code is available, or uh, at least you can access it there. Um, secondly, the way you log in, I think I'm going to set up a GitHub OAuth for that, so you log in using your GitHub account. Um, this will be nice for a couple reasons. One, we may want to integrate with GitHub later down the road. Um, and so being able to access that users, maybe their private repos or some other stuff. Now, at first we won't require additional permissions, but that'll be something nice down the road. And secondly, we won't have to worry about setting up all the login things. We'll just use OAuth uh, for that. Uh, and then next, creating code reviews. So I'm thinking uh, four things to a code review. And this is something where I think we can definitely add more things onto or improve upon. But this is what I see as maybe the four like crucial things. And really there's two, really the most crucial thing is this GitHub URL. I also put in parentheses here some like checks that would be good to add. So GitHub URL, um, and then I was like, let's put a regular expression on there just to make sure they put a GitHub URL. Um, the other thing is, is there any reason to just to limit this to GitHub? We could also have this be on GitLab, Bitbucket. Some, so this may be multiple regular expressions, or maybe we should just open it up. So that's one thing where there's flexibility to. And the other thing is, I'm not sure how I want the code review process to work. So one way for it to work is they actually go on to GitHub. So like, let's say I have a project on GitHub, the reviewer goes to GitHub and then makes comments on like a pull request or something. So I'm not sure if I want this to happen only on pull requests. I was also thinking maybe you fork the project and you add comments that way. Um, so I'm not sure the best way to go about doing that, but I did think it's kind of good for the person to give some questions like overarching of like what they have. So like for example, uh, in a project, they might know that there's a couple weak spots in their code that they want specific questions about, or maybe some overall questions that they want to include. So I'm thinking you input that when you create a code review and then just for indexing and finding stuff, adding programming tags and then a name. So maybe the name of the project or something basically to just display on the code review page and to also recognize between you might have multiple projects that you want code reviews for. So being able to differentiate between them, will give them a name. The next thing is to have a page to actually view the code review. 
So on this page where I'm thinking, uh, a reviewer can go and view all the questions a user asked, um, and then also a link to the code. Uh, and so what they can do is they can go, they can see the questions, they can go on GitHub, do whatever they want on GitHub, like, you know, inline comment to there, and then also answer the questions on CodePonder's site uh, for that user, and then basically submit the code review and say that they're done. And when they do that, send out an email to the other person and be like, hey, your code has been reviewed. Uh, and then that person can come and see who reviewed it and what they said. And then I think this makes sense to just make it public so anyone can see. Uh, I could see this also being a switch where you can be possibly make it private. Like I, you only want yourself to see the comments. Uh, and the next thing is after you see that, you can rate the person who reviewed you and see if you liked what they said and if it was helpful. Uh, and then maybe also the rating, there should be an optional comment on what you thought. And then so one other page that I want to include is kind of where you can see your different code reviews that you have given uh, and what ratings you received for doing that. And then also the code reviews that you've posted and you can click on it and see what other people said about your, like how the code that you got reviewed. Uh, and then lastly, I just added like, so we're gonna have a nav bar and I'm thinking that's where we'll display the average rating that from all the different code reviews that you've given. Uh, and then also maybe included on this page as well. Uh, so this is like kind of the bare bones structure of the project that I'm thinking about uh, doing. But yeah, I'd love to hear your guys' feedback on what you think can be improved upon this. And then also multiple people have contacted me about contributing to this um, as far as code and also design. I'm open to both. And here's what I'm thinking. So really the next thing with this is I want to create basically the kind of like bare bones mock-up, which I'm going to be doing myself. Um, but then after that, I made a little issue here. Feel free to talk about it here. Basically, um, the bare bones mock-up is just going to give like a structure ish, but also I'm open to just like other people's designs and taking their designs and implementing those. And so basically if you're interested in working on the mockups, you can talk about it in this issue. If you guys want to split up the work or, uh, I don't know, do like a shared Figma project or something. Well, we can talk about it here. And then what I'm thinking with that is uh, if multiple people want to do the mockups, that's cool. And then we can just pick which one is our favorite and implement that. And then also we can always redesign things later down the road. I'm totally fine starting bare bones and then uh, making it pretty later on. Uh, and then the other thing is for code contributions, what I'm planning on doing is I'm open to pull requests and that sort of thing. And then also uh, I'm going to just start when things get rolling and we start, uh, you know, working on the project, basically just create an issue of all the future tasks that I need to do. And then people are welcome to come in and implement those if they would like. Uh, so that's the plan. And then basically just use GitHub to structure the project and create kind of a board where you can see the status of the project and that sort of thing. So that's kind of my thoughts with that um, and the plan. And yep, love to hear what you guys think. And Post on GitHub is probably the best place if you want to discuss either of those things rather than uh, YouTube comments. And yeah.